What's up everybody, welcome to Today I Work On, and today I'm gonna to continue off the video on how you install a custom shower niche. I'm gonna show you how I tile it. Everyone tiles it differently. There's two trains of thought. You could either use the jolly and frame it out. This is my preferred method because it matches the Schluter jollies that are on the sides of the tile, so it just looks more uniform to me. Or you put it on a flat and you sneak it in on the inside and you have a smaller frame. I just personally always like the frame. Again, personal experience. This is a video on doing it like a picture frame. So the first step is make sure your all your mortar is clean and you can put your, dry, your tiles in no problem. Second step is I'm gonna cut these on 45 degree angle. So that's the jolly there. I'm gonna cut it on a 45 degree and make a frame. How I cut the jolly, I use a miter saw. So a regular blade, this is, an aluminum I think and it cuts pretty easily so that's what I'm gonna work on right now I'm gonna measure this all out and then uh, I'm gonna cut the 45 so let me start working on that I cut the two I cut the bottom and the top piece first and then what I do is I hold it I hold both pieces and then I just measure now you're like why do you do that and you know it ends up to and there's up around 12 inches on both sides so 12 inches and 12 inches so I'm gonna cut that right now and then we will frame this out and I'll, I'll uh, stick these jollies with mortar. All right, so what I do is I cut a little bit of the jolly on the back off so they don't hit and you get a nice 45 degree angle. So I'm gonna just cut these on an angle like so. So I do that on all of them because sometimes the mortar gets in the way a little bit and that's no fun. So I cut those and now let's check it out. Let's see how we look. Oh yeah, it looks good. This piece goes here. And let's see if I can squeeze this piece in here. I can. So there you go. Now I know this works. The jollies work. Now I'm just gonna massage them in. I'm gonna use mortar and then let's uh, start doing that. Now, unfortunately, I ran out of my all set and I'm on my regular, I'm on my regular uh, gray water, unfortunately. So, which is fine. It's just gray and gray is uh, messier to deal with, but it's fine. I, I will make it work. All right, so just put the mortar in. Now I'm gonna put the jollies back in. Let me get a sponge. All right, next up, let's place the jollies in the mortar. Make them, let them fit well. So what I'm gonna do is to hold this together when, once I'm done with the towels, I'm gonna use blue tape. Now that it's all cut, I'm going to use some shims because I want to get a little bit of grout in here. So I'm going to shim it up a little bit, like maybe a sixteenth of an inch, like so. Next up, we have tile. Now, I want to match the tile on what I have here. So this is my grout line. I want to continue that going in to the box. Technically, you don't really have to, but I think it looks better. So I'm going to cut two pieces of tile. I do the sides first and then I put the mosaic on last. I'm gonna let this set up a little bit, then I come back and, and I'm gonna cut the marbles in. The mar there's marbles on the shower floor and that's, we're gonna match that with this back here for an accent. So let me, so I have, I'm gonna go with three and three quarters. I have three and seven eighths, but the quarter inch will make me be able to adjust. And I think it's three and yeah, it's uh, three and three quarters all around. So let me cut the tile and then I'll we'll mortar this in. Remember, we need to make sure there's a pitch on this back, a slight pitch. But remember, you don't want the water, you don't want to pull, you don't want to like finger, you know, finger jump into a pool. If it's angled to the back, the shower will, water will accumulate in here, right? And what'll happen? It'll go to the back and just sit there. It's not going to go anywhere, but you don't want to play, you don't want to go like this with the water. No good. It's fun to splash, but. Not in a niche. So let's uh let me let me mortar this in. Now 
now that the bottom piece is done, I do the top piece. And the reason why I do the top piece is because I want the sides to hold the, the top piece up. Not that it matters, I just think it looks better. So let me cut, this is gonna be a full piece. So let me cut this piece uh, a full three and three quarters. Cut this piece, now I'm gonna mortar this up. So I have the right side and you can't really see it. I got the bottom, I got the top in. I got the bottom piece in right here. I don't know if you can see that either. I just have to put this one more side piece in and then I can massage everything out. And then we could uh, we could tidy it up, clean it up, and then I'll wrap up this video. All right, just mortared in the last piece. Now I'm gonna clean this all up and then I'm gonna let it set up. And then we'll do the back tomorrow. So we will continue this video tomorrow. this tile not to move because my mix was a little on the wet side but it looks really really good so the next step is we're going to cut the pebbles which are right here in the back so I'm not gonna use, I'm not gonna use mortar for the back I'm just gonna use regular tile glue because you don't really need a mortar for this type of tile so let me take off this tape and let me start working on cutting the back. Make sure you have full coverage on these uh, pebble tile. And now we're just gonna slide these in like so. Just I, I literally push on every single pebble. So I get a nice little stick. And I know it's gonna ooze into the thin set. Well, eh, not thin set, it's more, uh, it's more a uh, glue. All right, well, that, that's, that's it for the niche. Uh, and I'm gonna grout it. Grouting it is pretty straightforward. I have a couple of videos on how you, to grout, especially with the uh, polymer grout. Well, that's it for this niche. It looks great. This is how you tile a niche. It's not the easiest project to do, but it's totally worth it. And if you have any questions, please ask in the comments. If you like this video, please like it. If you like more of these videos, please subscribe. So again, uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.